Remington Park has always been about excellence. The Remington Way, striving to achieve the very best in style, innovation, and entertainment. What better namesake than the premier Western artist, Frederick Remington? Born and raised in New York, Remington spent his inheritance chasing his boyhood dream across the Western frontier. In the late 1880s, he saw the vanishing prairie, the last of the great buffalo herds, and the Indian Wars. Although he could never make a go of it as a rancher in Montana, he discovered that New York publishers were impressed with his knowledge and first-hand experience of the Old West, and began buying up every picture he could paint to illustrate their magazines. Before there were movies, illustrators fired the imagination of the American public. As the first cowboy illustrator, Frederick Remington played a pivotal role in developing the look of the American West. In addition, he served as a war correspondent during the Spanish-American War. He became a successful fine artist while originating the cowboy art movement, rendering in pen and ink, oil and sculpture. All of his art was based on his trips he made every year to the western frontier, reliving the adventures and striving for authenticity. A century later in the 1980s, when Edward J. DeBartolo Sr. decided to open a racetrack in Oklahoma City, it was his general manager, David Vance, who chose the name Remington Park. I call it her, giving Remington Park a personality. Uh, I named her after Frederick Remington, who was uh, the equine artist because I wanted it to be a work of art, corny as that sounds, and I know it does, but, but uh, if, you, if you've been around the industry, around the country as I have, uh, I've been in it so long, this is a very special facility. Throughout Remington Park are many of the sculptures of Frederick Remington, sculptures he created of horses and those who ride them. The faces of everyone here show the same love of horses and passion for the American Western lifestyle. It is the Remington Way.